What's going on guys? My name is Triforce Addiction. Welcome back to another COD mode video. So uh, we haven't really talked about the buffs for the other weapons. I'm not talking about from a hotfix or anything like that. I'm talking about from the main season seven update. Uh, this is one that really isn't talked about that much, but it probably should be. That of course is the S36 light machine gun. So we don't really off, we don't often hear a lot of things about the S36 anymore. It really hasn't been viable. Uh, for a long time and I think the last time it was ever viable was during the first few months of the game Because it was actually one of the oldest metas. I remember before I started playing this game I would still watch videos about it and I think I think I was watching Parker the Slayer And I would notice that I think before Battle Royale even came out he would always use this LMG And I'm just like man this guy just uses this LMG all the time, but it, it was before I even knew uh, That it was even meta. I just thought he'd liked the LMG of course, I came around this game uh, way after this thing was nerfed, so it wasn't really viable anymore. And when the gunsmith came out, it was even less viable. If anything, this is probably one of the least touched LMGs that we've seen so far in recent history. The funny thing about this is that this received a Valentine's Day Redux draw, I believe. And even then, it wasn't really changed that much. You would think that they would make it you know, I guess meta, but they just never did. It took him about over like <laughs> two years to update the gun. And even, even with this update, the changes were pretty minuscule, but they do help heavily. So like I said, changes are pretty minuscule. It only has improved recoil and improved magazine capacity. Uh, keep in mind the magazine capacity wasn't, it wasn't changed too much. Uh, I believe it's only increased by like 10 bullets. So like, let's say the 100 round mag will have 110 bullets or the 75 round mag will have 85 bullets. And that's more or less it. Um, but one of the biggest changes, of course, is the recoil. You guys remember that the S36 post gunsmith has had a lot of issues with recoil, um, not with vertical per se, but with horizontal recoil. I get it. It might not sound like a lot in the grand scheme of things, but it was great that they didn't improve any further, and that's mainly because of the fire rate. So if they were to increase the range, it would be extremely overpowered. Of course, it really depends on how much they would actually increase the range. But even right now, uh, for the most part, it's going to be a four to five shot kill. It depends on how far you are. Like if you're mid range, it's a five shot kill. If you're at long range, it's like a, what, a six shot kill. Um, I believe at close range, yeah, you're going to get a four shot. There's no issue with that. I don't really think they did anything with the headshot multiplier still, which kind of does bother me because, I mean, you should be rewarded for being a little bit more accurate. So I think the chest damage and the headshot damage are, I think, exactly the same. I'm, I'm not sure. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but yeah, it, you don't get rewarded for shooting in the head. And it's weird because uh, the FR556 was more or less in the same shoes as this one, but... Well, the FR did get a change to the headshot multiplier, so it could now be a three-shot kill, but the S36 never got any improvements towards its multipliers, so it's it's still more or less the same gun with just a little bit less recoil and, like, just a little bit more bullets. And you would think that it would affect the recoil just a little bit to the point where you don't even notice it, kind of like the PPSH, but actually the horizontal recoil is almost nearly gone. It only really appears if you have, like, some sort of attachment that increases it. So you have a lot more freedom uh, in terms of attachments. You, you could use more speed related stuff without having to suffer any consequences towards horizontal recoil. Like you don't always have to run a strike stock or some sort of range extending barrel to control it anymore. So you could run it as a lightweight type of LMG and you won't really suffer any consequences. Unless you're like shooting long range, then you really notice the pattern. But in like the match that you're seeing right now, I mean, I'm able to perfectly rush with it without any issues. So that's basically what the update did. I'm sorry the, the video was a little bit short. I know not a lot of you guys are interested in the S36, but I do recommend giving it a try. And, you know, for all of you guys that are still, you know, grinding out your camos, it's far easier for you to do it now. You don't have to worry about your gun jumping all over the place like uh, like an uncontrolled peacekeeper with a task force barrel. So. I think that's what makes this uh, update for this gun like really nice. So before I go, here is the class up for you guys. Um, I, I don't know. This is my favorite touch players a little bit, but I'm not. Re I'm not. I'm not really sure. But it's monolithic suppressor, uh, the savior light barrel. Sorry, I don't. I don't even know what it says. But OWC laser tactical as well as rubberized grip tape and the 110 round belt. 
So anyways, that's going to do it for today's video. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to leave a like. Make sure to subscribe for some more combo content. If you're feeling generous, make sure to leave a donation. But anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.